this video I will be explaining the hair cycles and why is it that we need a number of treatments when electrolysis is considered to be the permanent hair removal. So we are all born with a set number of hair follicles. Some of them are active and produce hair and others are dormant and don't produce visible hair. Our bodies are very clever as you know and they have organized all the active hair follicles to grow in cycles rather than all in one go. This way it appears that we have constantly the same amount of hair when the cycles are actually changing. The switch between the cycles happens constantly and very gradually, just a few hairs at a time. This way your body ensures that we constantly have the protection that hair gives us, gives us um, and we're not aware of the change of the hair cycles. What happens when we start electrolysis? So, what I explained just now is considering we don't use any hair removal methods. But what will happen if we were to start electrolysis treatment? So if we haven't um, touched an area for a while, we will have something like uh, one of the cycles showing. If you imagine that this is actually the number of follicles that you're born with, all the follicles, all the active ones, and you imagine that every colour represents a hair cycle, then if we've grown the hair for a while, we will have just one of the colours out above the skin surface. The others will be waiting their turn. And if you were to go and have a electrolysis treatment at that time, what will happen, hypothetically, it will be that all the hairs, or most of the hairs from that cycle, and the blue ones in this case, will be removed. This way, after the treatment, your skin will appear clear of hair, um, as the cycle has been cleared and there's quite a few of these. Okay, and then you have to wait for your next treatment. And the, the, the idea of waiting is to allow for the next cycle to kick in. And let's say the next cycle are the pink ones and they here we go, they kick in. So you've given it enough time and you go for your next electrolysis treatment and in that treatment you get the pink ones removed okay and that's how it goes on the next treatment you will get the orange ones before that in the period of waiting you'll get the orange ones grow through and in the treatment you will have them removed. And this is why it takes a number of treatments before all of these hairs of all the cycles are clear. And many people ask, okay, so how long it takes? And I often say it takes 12 months. That's what scientists have estimated, that it takes 12 months for your body to grow hair from every active hair follicle in a given area at least once so that we get um, a chance to treat it. Now this will vary for some people. People with hormonal imbalances like polycystic ovaries um, or anything else, women we're talking, or males because of the higher level of testosterone in their system will actually um, take longer, up to 24 months. And that's considering that they keep on top of their treatment plan and don't miss the treatment of a hair cycle. This is why it takes a number of treatments and this is how the hair cycles work. Please check out my other videos that explain how different hair removal methods previous to electrolysis would affect um, the electrolysis treatment plan and also how um, what different strategies we can adopt to treat um, the hair cycles um, and how does that work. Okay, I hope that was helpful and all the best. Thank you.